Okay. Well, I just wanted to make a video in a different location than normal. I'm over at uh, Ruston Point. Um, they've got a theater and apartments and stuff like that. But I saw this nice, bright LED street light, which I'm really glad that they're making more of those now. It's nice not to have the orange everywhere. And uh, they had a nice bench here, so... Um, I wanted to talk about the latest trailer, trailer 3, of Suicide Squad. Previously, I wasn't that impressed, but I thought... I mean, back in May, I thought that there's a chance that they could go for a bit of campiness and just trying to make the movie fun instead of this dark, serious tone that so many of the graphic novel slash comic book based movies are, have been doing for quite a while. And, uh, well, this trailer three confirms what I was hoping. Um, I'm just not that big of a fan, usually, of uh, graphic novel based movies. The, the last one that I was actually impressed with was uh, Sin City. And that's because it really, really tried to capture the feel of a graphic novel slash comic book. But so many of the others, it's just like... <laughs> I don't know how else to put it, but it's like... It's darker than life. Not larger than life, but darker than life. You know, and I've, I've just... It, I think we're going to look back on some of those and go, Oh God, that period again. You know? So... Then again, a lot of people probably feel that way about a lot of the 80s movies, and we do. I mean, sometimes they're just, they were, they've been so cheesed, so cheesy, so corny, so, uh, so campy, that sometimes they're a little hard to watch, but I think it'd be a good thing to, to return to movies being a little bit fun. At least there's some creativity going on in it, which is something I complained about recently. Um, you know, they're, they're taking a chance, and that makes me really happy. Um, I want to see us get out of this non-creative mode that we've been in. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, if the, even if the movie gets terrible reviews. I mean, if they, they just say, oh, it's horrible. Well, I've liked a number of movies that have gotten terrible reviews. Um, you know, I don't think Tank Girl originally got very good reviews. I don't think Flash Gordon got very good reviews. Um, so many people just hated Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, and most people's least favorite movie of the James Bond movies was, the, was Moonraker, because of how unrealistic plot holes uh, and campy it was, but that's exactly what I liked about it. I haven't been excited about a, a graphic novel based movie for, I don't know, somewhere around 10 years. So, this is going to be, this is something I'm going to look forward to. Um, and it's certainly not being hyped up, so it's not like I'm expecting the movie to live up to some sort of hype because it's it hasn't really been hyped up that much and maybe it will be now since they released the trailer but uh, uh, I'm looking forward to this um, some people like just think the Avengers movies were just fantastic I couldn't stand them I couldn't even want the first one I couldn't even watch the whole thing I've, I'll, I'll admit to not watching the sequel I thought there was a sequel um, whether there was or wasn't, I didn't watch it. I, I wasn't interested because the, the first one was so unappealing to me. Um, I didn't see it in theaters, but I, when I lived with Tyler and the Three Bears in Renton, uh, they were watching it, and I just could not stay focused on it. All those Star Wars sound effects. Ooh, Star Wars. Oh, look, Star Wars. I think I might have said this in the same, uh, in that same video from May, as when I had still had a purple beard, and uh, but yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to this. 
uh, I'm excited. Uh, so, if you haven't watched Trailer 3 of Suicide Squad yet, I recommend watching it. It looks like a fun movie. Uh, we shall see, though.